Welcome to TD's Pokemon Lair. I'm TD and today I have a box of Pokemon cards I sent to PSA and I got them back in this box professionally packaged so they arrive safe and sound. Let me get them out of the box and we'll see what grades I got. All right, let's go. This is a 1999 Pokemon fossil set Haunter, a hollow, the number six card. The front of this card looks really clean. There's no creases or bends. Looking at our uh, holographics, they're clean of any scratches. Looking at our centering from top to bottom, I think it's close to the tolerance or within. Looking at our centering from side to side, I think that's definitely within the tolerance. Looking at our corners or edges, I see no damage on them. Checking out the back of the card, you can see, let's start with the edges and our corners. The edges look good. Our right upper right corner and the two left corners have some slight damage. Our surface, though, is free of any creases, bends, or other damage. Our centering from top to bottom, I think, is in, within the tolerance. And our left to right centering, also within the tolerance. This card is not too bad. And we're going to get a grade of mint 9. That's pretty darn good. We are looking at a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Set Hit, no, a hollow, the number eight card. The front of this card looks really clean. I don't see any creases or bends. Our holographics looks pretty nice. Our centering from left to right and top to bottom, I think, is all within the tolerance. Our corners and our edges look really clean. I don't see any damage on the corners. Flipping the card over and looking at the back, our centering looks really good from left to right and top to bottom. Um, I think those are all within tolerance. Our corners and our edges look really nice. I think there might be some slight damage on that upper right corner. Looking at our surface of the card, there's no creases, bends, or any other damage. And that's going to get us a grade of excellent five. That is highway robbery. That should have been at least an eight or nine. I Maybe even a ten. Let's start with this 1999 Pokemon Fossil Set Kabutops, a hollow, the number nine card. Looking at the front of this card, the main surface looks really clean. There's no bends or creases. Looking at our holographics, um, there is some very minor scratches to the left of the Kabutops head and at close to its feet. Looking at our ceiling from left to right and top to bottom, I think those are all within the tolerance. Our corners and edges look really clean. I don't see any damage. Flipping the card over and looking at the back, there's no creases, bends, or any other problems on the surface of the card. Our centering, like the front, is really good. I think it's all within tolerance from top to bottom and left to right. Our corners and our edges look really clean. There's some very slight damage on the upper right corner. And that should get us a grade of excellent five. Wow, I think that's a little low, but what to do? You're looking at a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Set Articuno, the number 17 card. Look in the front surface of this card. It does look pretty good. I don't see any big major bends or creases or any other damage. Looking at our centering from left to right and top to bottom, I think those are all within the tolerance. Looking at our corners and our edges, you can see that there's some damage across that top edge. Flipping the card over and looking at the back, we'll start with the centering from left to right, and it is definitely a little bit towards the left, and our centering from top to bottom, though, it looks within tolerance. Looking at our surface of the card, the main surface and graphics, they look really clean, um, but once you get to the borders and the corners and edges of this card, you can see that the upper border and edge has some damage. And we'll receive a grade of near mint seven. Wow. Not too bad, but not too great. You're looking at a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Set Magneton, a hollow first edition, the number 11 card. Looking at the front of this card, you can see it's very clean. There's no creases or bends. Our holographics look free of any scratches. Our centering from top to bottom is towards the top a little bit. Our centering from left to right, I think is towards the left slightly. Looking at our corners and our edges, I don't see any damage. Flipping the card over and looking at the surface of the card, there's no damage, creases, or bends. Looking at our centering from left to right, it's definitely quite a bit towards the right. Our centering from top to bottom is quite a bit towards the top. Looking at our corners and our edges, I only damage I see is the upper right corner. And that's going to get us a grade of very good, excellent four. That is highway robbery. That should have been at least an eight or nine. Check out this 1999 Pokemon Jungle set. Pinsir, a hollow, the number nine card. The front surface's card is free of any creases or bends. Our holographics are free of any scratches. Looking at our centering from top to bottom and left to right, I think that's all within the tolerances. Our corners and our edges, 
The corners look pretty good. Our edges all look pretty good, except that upper edge it looks a little wavy to me. Flipping the card over and looking at the back of the card, we'll start with our corners and our edges. Our corners look pretty good. There might be some slight damage on the upper right and lower left corners. We look at our upper edge and border. You can see that there's some creases or scratches or bends in that upper, right on that upper border edge. Um, going to our centering though, from top to bottom, left to right, I think that's all within the tolerance. And looking at the rest of the surfaces of the card, it is free of bends and creases or any damage. And we're in a grade of very good three. Wow, I think that's a super low grade. We are looking at a 2000 Pokemon Game Base 2 Mewtwo, a hollow, the number 10 card. Looking at the front of this card, you can see that our uh, surface is free of creases or bends. Our holographics is free of scratches. Our centering from top to bottom, I think, is slightly towards the bottom. Our centering from left to right looks pretty close to Thomas, but might be slightly towards the right. And our corners and our edges look free of any damage. As we look at the back of the card, you can see that our surface is free of creases, bends, or any other damage. Our centering from left to right is towards the right. Our centering from top to bottom is towards the bottom. And looking at our corners and our edges, the two upper corners and the lower right corner has some slight damage. And that's going to give us a grade of mid 9. I like it. I like it like that. You're looking at a 2000 Pokemon Gym Challenge Rocket Zapdos, a hollow first edition, the number 15 card of this set. Looking at our holographics, it's free of any scratches. Once we get to the rest of the surface of the card, that's where we have some problems. If you look at the upper left corner, there's a slight bend. If you look at the upper right corner, there's a small crease and it looks like a bend. And looking down by the lower left side, down by the weakness, you see a couple dents in the border. And talking about borders, if you look at our centering from left to right, it's towards the right. And our centering from top to bottom is towards the top. Looking at the corners and edges, though, they're pretty clean. Flipping over to the back, you can see that we have corresponding bends on the upper two corners. Uh, from the front, looking at our centering from left to right, it's towards the left. Looking at our centering from top to bottom, though, I think that's really close to the tolerance. The rest of the surface card is free of any creases or bends. Looking at our corners and our edges, there's some slight damage down that left side. And we're going to get a grade of very good, excellent four. Wow, with all those bends, that's not too bad. This is a 2000 Pokemon Gym Challenge Giovanni's Nido King, a hollow first edition, the number seven card of the set. Looking at the front of this card, the holographics and the rest of the surface of the card is free of any scratches, bends, or creases. Looking at our centering from left to right, I think it's slightly towards the right. And our centering from top to bottom might be slightly towards the top. Looking at our corners and our edges, I see no damage. As we look at the back of the card, you can see our surface is free of creases, bends, or any other damage. Our centering from top to bottom is towards the top. Our centering from left to right, I think it's slightly towards the left, but might be within the tolerance. Looking at our corners and our edges, there's some very, very slight damage on the two upper corners. And as you notice on the holographics, up by the um, top corner, it says swirl. But this card is going to grade a near mint, mint 8. What? That should have been at least a 9, if not possibly a 10. Hey, it's a 2000 Pokemon Gym Challenge Giovanni's Nido King, a Hall of First Edition, the number 7 card. The holographics look really clean and free of any... Um, uh, scratches. Uh, this is a swirl holographics. Um, looking at our rest of the surface of the card, it's free of any creases or bends. Our centering from left to right is definitely towards the right quite a bit. Looking at our centering from top to bottom, I think it's slightly towards the bottom, but really close to the tolerance. Our corners and our edges are free of any damage. Checking out the back of the card, we'll start with our surface. It's free of any creases, bends, or scratches. Our centering from left to right is quite a bit towards the left. Our centering from top to bottom looks a little bit towards the bottom. Looking at our quarters and our edges, the lower left corner has a slight damage. And that's going to give us a grade of mint 9. Wow, that's pretty darn good.